What's up guys? Figured out since I haven't shot a video in a while. Give you a quick little update of what's going on here. Um, I sold my 650 jet ski and uh, ended up buying this pretty cheap from my buddy. It's 87 Warrior 350. Um, I've done a couple things to it since I got it. I painted the hood because it looked just as bad as the tank cover. It still looks pretty terrible because it's it's got some deep scratches and stuff, but that just looks awful. But it looks a little better. Um, I'll be changing that out eventually, anyways. But and someone has Banshee arms on it. Now you can see I I took the other side off right here. Took the other side off already, and I got the 87 a arms on right now. They're nasty, and I need to clean them up and get them powder coated. But um, still got to do this side. The only reason I haven't is because one of the ball joints is out of the bottom a arm, and someone screwed up the threads trying to take it out. The ball joint's still good. It's just I still got to get the I still got to figure out a way to get it in. These are factory grips from 87. I mean, it don't mean much because they're shot, but it ain't bad for what I paid for it. Uh, it does smoke a little bit, but um, that's because, I think that's because of the oil that it had in it. When I drained the oil yesterday, um, the oil was water. I mean, it just splashed everywhere in my drain pan, and um, so that made a mess. But I bought some Yamalube to put in it. And a brand new oil filter. That's in there right now. I just gotta. But the drain plug, I had to take a chisel and a hammer and get it off because someone had made it round as a quarter. But yeah, there's the Warrior. It's it's not a bad bike. It's got a brand new Canon filter. Um, my friend owned it for probably two weeks. And then I saw it the first day he bought it. And I told him right then and there, I said, I'll buy it from you right now. I've actually been looking for a warrior project for a long time, guys. Um, so hopefully this is going to take over the channel a little bit here. <laughs> I don't have any plans of getting rid of it, but y'all know me. Um, I don't keep anything long. But um, I've, I don't have any plans of getting rid of this one yet. I bought it, and um, I plan riding it with my girlfriend. So... That'll be fun. And I don't think I have any videos of this on YouTube yet. But this is the beast. It's a 02, 03 Banshee with 05 fenders. Um, we've done a bunch of work to this bike right here. Rebuilt the carbs, gaskets, rebuilt the top end. Um, all new O-rings and stuff for the cooled head, new pet cock. Um, what else? Oh, how to buy a whole new air box. I bought that from a guy on Banshee headquarters. And we got the whole shot GNCCs off my KFX on here. They're on my original Warrior wheels. Those that's the Warrior that um I started the channel with. Those are the wheels from it. I kinda wanna put them on mine, but they can stay on that because that's my dad's pretty much. And um you know I'm planning on getting rid of it. But it's got a task bomber, full two me T6s. I bought him some torque grips for it. Um it's got Renthal fat bars. And um we replaced these two because every bench you see is missing those. And I don't know, I just think it cleans it up a little bit. New silicone radiator hoses. Um I think it's bored 30 over. It was a stock bull when we got it. And the dude had been letting it sit outside for, um, I think, a year, he said. But it was sitting outside with the carbs off. I mean, the carbs on, but the airbox off. And water had um, got through to the cylinders, and the bike was locked up. Well, we ended up getting it unstuck at his house, and we picked that up dirt cheap, too. And, um, got it home. Didn't have spark. Well, that, that wasn't that bad of a fix. And, um, 
it was just one of the TORS wires plugged in because this bike TORS is deleted. Got it running, rebuilt the carbs. No, so it was getting harder and harder to kick and start. Not kick, but harder and harder to start. Um, when the dude, he said he rebuilt the carbs and that's why I've been sitting because he never get a run right again. Well, when he did that, he must put stock jets back in it because it's got 21 cc domes, reeds and all this other stuff and pipes, but at a 300 main, not 300, a 200 main jet. Um, we got a 300 in it right now and it runs good. Smokes even, it, it, it's a very good running bike. It'll usually start up first kick. But um, it's got a K and N. Can't think of much else done to it. We're about to buy probably a Tusker G Force axle. They're the same thing, but uh, some new chains of sprockets. But um, it's it's a nice bike for what we pay for it for sure, and um, it runs like a champion. It runs awesome, and the frame is actually in really really good shape. The shocks aren't worn. It's a nice bike from the money. It's a very nice bike. Frame's never been painted or anything. It's just excellent shape. The seat looks like brand new. No rips, tears, scuff marks. Awesome shape. It's still got the parking brake hooked up. I honestly think that someone took a bunch of parts they had laying around and built this bike. But... I don't know, it's it's a nice one. And there's my dad's. It's covered up right now, keeping the dust off of it. But yeah. So um I guess I'll tell you what I got in plan for this thing. Um maybe this winter I think we'll pull the motor down and go ahead and just rebuild the top end. Um shouldn't be too bad. And that's when I'll powder coat the frame. The swing arm. It needs swing arm bearings pretty bad carry bearings a shot uh, it needs wheel bearings up front what else it need oh this hub is loose I mean it's, it's bad um but it's cheap bike I'm gonna have fun with it I've been riding it around but I took the carb apart and this is stupid of me um the float was cracked it won't completely my fault, but I just made it worse. But the flow was cracked right there. And when I went to take it out, I just completely broke it. So now I gotta buy a float. But I'm pretty sure, because I had to put a carb on the Wolverine, I know that one's still got a float and I know that it will work. It's just I need to find it. I don't know where we put it at. But yeah, hopefully this one. We'll put an HMF on it. I don't have any plans on replacing the plastics. Um, but I'm going to make it nicer. I have, now that I work and I have spare time on my hands, unlike what I used to be on the channel when I was younger, I'm almost 18 years old now. Um, I have time to do stuff to it. And I got time to make it a little nicer. And, uh, have some fun with it so yeah here it is guys um i'll also be taking some subscribers opinions on it and let them tell me what i need to do but i'll show y'all the other stuff i got for it too it's in, it's in the bed of my truck i haven't taken it out yet it's over here Truck's filthy right now. I haven't had a chance to wash it. But yeah, here I'll show you all this A-arm where the threads are busted. See how the threads are kind of flattened right there. Well, that's how the ball joint is too. And I just gotta figure a way how to get those threads a little better so I can get the ball joint back in there put on. But I got a CDI box. I don't even know what year it is or but it is for a warrior. I just don't know what year it's for. Or any of that stuff. Um, got some bushings. I got some caliper rebuild kits in my truck for the front calipers. But I honestly don't need things for this bike. It's for a Raptor 660 or a Kodiak 400. 
I'm pretty sure. But, um, let me see. I think it's still in the seat. But they were giving to me with the bike. Yeah. Got those. Got some very, very terrible clutch springs. I mean, you shouldn't be able to do that. But they're shot. Got those. Got a nice uh, service manual for it. It's got a parking brake line, a clutch cable over there. I plan on putting, doing the same setup I had on my Warrior. I had a Motion Pro cable and a MSR clutch perch and lever. That thing moves very smooth. But um, I plan on putting those A-arms on as soon as I can get that ball joint in. And then I'll shoot another video of them on there and uh i guess um i'll shoot a video of it running once i get the uh drain plug and stuff in for it but shouldn't be long guys and i'm actually gonna post this video like i said i've been very busy in school and stuff but here's one more look at it nice bike i guess <laughs> Ain't bad. Well, there it is, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, so let me know what you think. See y'all.